If you want to be able to create the game of your dreams all without writing a single line of code, then this is the video for you. I'm talking about Sandbox, which is also the sponsor of today's video. The Sandbox is an engine where you can create all sorts of incredible games, ranging from obstacle courses to scavenger hunts to RPGs. The sky is the limit. And today, I'll be showing you exactly how to use it. To get started with creating a game in the Sandbox, all you have to do is go to the link in the description. After that, you're gonna have to create an account up here in the top right. And once you're done with that, then click Create on the left hand side. Make sure that you're in the build experiences tab and now you can begin creating your very first game. So you're gonna click this download button right here and then it should download an application called Game Maker. And if you double click on that, it will start the installation process for Game Maker. Now let's open it up. You're gonna have to re-log into your account after you open up Game Maker and now you should have all of your games. So for me, I'm going to create a brand new project by clicking on the button, create new. The land size one by one works just fine. But if you want to create a game with even more space, then you can add more to your land size. Keep in mind that one by one is actually a lot of land and you don't really need too much more than that. So I'm going to really quickly give it a name and we're going to create the project. So as you can see, we're here in an empty world and there are a few controls that you're going to need to learn to use if you want to make a game. The first thing is the scrolling wheel right here. So if you scroll your mouse and you can zoom in and out. Another thing that's helpful to know is that you can use the keys W, A, S, and D to move your camera around. And finally, the letter Q will spin you around in a circle and rotate your camera, and so will E in the opposite direction. The first thing that I wanna do is get rid of this ginormous green block because we don't really need it for the game that I'm planning to make. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the grass block right here at the bottom and zoom out as much as we can, then hold down a certain block and then hold down on the right click. As you can see when we do this, it will highlight the blocks. And if we go through and select a whole bunch of it and then let go, then the entire terrain will delete. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this for the entire grass plane. And there we go. Now we're going to want to go scroll down to the very bottom layer where you can place blocks. And I'm just going to create one block right there, just like so. And now we have nine laid out and we can finally get to moving our spawn. So way up here is where the player will spawn, but we don't want them to spawn up there. We want them to spawn down at this green platform. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the left-hand side, the select tool, and then click on that spawn block. Then we're gonna click on the little arrow icon on the left-hand side, and now we can move it down. And if you feel like you're too zoomed out, click on the F key while you have the spawn selected, and it will zoom in. So we just finished building our base layer, and as you can see, if we click the play button up at the very top, then we can try out what we've made so far. And well, it's not much. We're kind of trapped on this little floating island. Now what I want to do next is add one more layer on top of these nine blocks. We actually can't do that without moving up the spawn. So make sure that we move that up as well. The next step is adding lava. And if we place it, as you can see, all of a sudden there will be lava all around us. Now we're on a floating island with lava all around it. And if we fall into the lava, we die. So our next step is to expand how big the lava is. You can place more than one block at once just by holding down on your mouse. And so I am going to place a whole ton of lava because for this game, we need to be surrounded by miles and miles of lava. So to ensure that the lava does damage, what we can do is we can head over to global parameters, then click controller and then go to components. And here where it says health, we're going to go to damaging blocks and then click add. And now we can actually set which block does damage to you. And we're gonna do the lava, of course, because that's the block that is in our game. Now we're gonna start building our obstacle course. So I'm gonna like place down a few blocks off of the spawn, like so. Then maybe build like one more and a third one. And let's try that out so far. Now you can see as soon as we join into our game that we have an obstacle course that we have to jump over to get through. So this is pretty cool. As you can see, I've added so much more. There are brand new levels and also a brand new set of obstacles. 
even a little bridge up here. Then you get onto the grass level, but that's not it. Then you're gonna make your way towards the kind of like desert level, I guess you could say, because it's kind of like stone and sand at the same time. There are these cool platforms, and they're actually being held up by the lava. And now comes my favorite part. We have to walk our way up and go through this tunnel right here. And then bam, we've made it to the victory. So if you see up here at the very top, it says global parameters. And if you click on that, we have a lot of different options to choose from. Now there are four different options. First person, which would be great if you're having like some kind of like zombie shooter game or maybe a horror game. Third person is what I'm using right now, but I wanna show you angled because for this style of game, I think angled works a lot better. So if we go into ambience, we can select the lighting and I'm gonna do desert. And finally, we have the music option. You can go listen to every single one of these songs, but I really like the disco song. Just messing around with those global parameters really gives the game an entirely different feel. And now another thing, we can actually create an NPC that we can talk to at the beginning of our journey. So right here is where I wanna put my NPC that prompts you to begin the obstacle course. So here at the bottom where all of our blocks are, you can see there's a bunch of little dots here. And if we hold down and then swipe it up, you can see that now we can find all of these different characters. I like Adventure Jet, so I'm gonna click on him. And now that we have him selected, all we have to do is scroll back down and now we can place him down wherever we want. So I'm just gonna place him right here, right next to our spawn. If he's not facing the right way, never fear. Just click on the select tool, select him, then rotate and turn him the correct direction. Now when we spawn in, we can see that we're right next to an adventure jet, but he doesn't say anything yet. To do that, we're just gonna use our select tool, click on him and then do behavior. Now we're gonna set him as an asker. Here are a bunch of other things that we can say. And we're gonna start off with the speaker name. Now I wanna call him Evan Land's channel. I've been stranded here forever. Please help me escape this lava ocean. And then now we can have two answers. First one is gonna be, I'll help you. And the second one will be, no, I'm too scared. So now if we could play and we walk over to this guy and we hold down on E, it'll say, I've been stranded here forever, please help me escape. And we can say, okay, I'll help you, and then begin our obby. But I think there's something more we can add to this. What if when we talk to our character, there's like a little quest that appears telling you that we need to get to the end of this obstacle course? Well, we can do that. You see, if we head over to this rules tab over here and then enable quests, then we can actually add a quest. The description is gonna be escape the lava. And I'm gonna call this escape lava. The unlock quest, we're gonna have to require a message and the message is going to be A1, which is sent when we talk to the person. And after we fill out all this, then we click add quest. And there we go, now we have escape lava. If we do talk to this guy and we say, okay, I'll help you, it should say new objective unlocked escape lava and it also appears on the side now this is great and all but what happens if you actually make it to the end of the obstacle course now i'm going to create another one of these characters and i'm going to move him to the very end this time when we talk to him it's going to say yay you helped me escape make sure that all these answers are actually blank except for a1 and then have it say something like no problem and then now where it says a1 message sent we want that to be quest default complete. So now let's try this out. Okay, I'll help you. We get the quest. Now we have to go and do this obby. And now that we make it to our second guy, then we can talk to him. Yeah, you helped me escape. No problem, happy to help. As you can see on the right, the quest has been completed. After you finish creating your game and you think that you're ready to share it with your friends, click on this little airplane icon, give it a name like floor is lava and a description and then click share to gallery. After you do that, you can find it in the drafts gallery with all of the other games. So you can go ahead and search up floor is lava and try out my game.
I'm gonna go in here and play a professional game made by the sandbox just to show you guys what incredible things can be done with it. So here I am in Dr. Bombkiss Metal Lab. And as you can see, look at that. There's a giant portal. I'm gonna go ahead and enter it. Here I am in the hangar games. It looks like it's a giant obstacle course to try to get to the end. All right, first jump, pretty easy. Second jump, there we go, I made it. Okay, I gotta time this right. Third jump, there we go. Fourth, here you go, okay, slide, press C. I'm just gonna crawl under. There we go. We gotta go under the water. Well, I hope I don't drown. Fast, fast, fast. Oh, look, there's another player. All right, hang on. He's just as confused as I am. <gasps> okay, I can climb up, there we go. And that's how I'm gonna make this jump. Woo. And yes, I made it. And it looks like I made it to the end. That is pretty cool. And this is a professional game made by the Sandbox. Anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to go check out Sandbox, link in the description. And of course, subscribe and slap that bell. But I'll be seeing you all next time. Bye.